Now, Jewelmer has been on top of the international jewelry industry for quite some time now. And as it celebrates its 35th year, the brand has come up with more reasons to enjoy the elegance of the Golden South Sea Pearl. And to tell us more about their plan for the year ahead, we have here in the studio Jacques-Christophe Branelec, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Jewelmer. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You said he speaks Tagalog. Magandang umaga. Magandang umaga mm, sa inyo po. Great. Thank you for, for being here with us and for bringing these beautiful uh, pearls here with us this morning. Wow, 35 years. Yeah, it's uh, it's gone by pretty quick, actually. Um, I'm actually second generation, so it's been a very long journey from humble beginnings mm -hmm. um, since our first pearl farm in Palawan. But I guess um, it's... A great honor to be here today and to be presenting our new collection as well as talking about our gala which we just had last week. Yeah, let's talk about that. Everyone was posting on social media mm -hmm. pictures of uh, the whole event. It was the talk of the town. I think you might have been trending in fact. <laughs> Tell us more about that. The 35 uh, years they're the celebrating that and what was the running theme of that celebration? Well basically um, the gala was just to kind of put the whole story of the company and also the national gem of the Philippines in one event, mm -hmm. which was very difficult to do actually. Um, it was quite a challenge to put together in a story, in a theatrical production, man's symbiosis with nature, which mm -hmm. is really what the Pearl is a product of, mm -hmm. as well as putting together the best of Filipino talents. We had the Manila Philharmonic Orchestra, mm -hmm. the USC Chorale, uh, we had Miss Lisa Makuha Elizalde was there performing as well, and of course Angel Aquino. So it was really a star-studded show, um, but we were just really trying to say thank you and do justice to all the work that's behind this beautiful national gem of the Philippines. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sad I missed it. Uh, you, <laughs> you want to ask a question? Yes, please tell us more about your newest collection. Well, actually, um, all the collections are really inspired by organic elements that we mm -hmm. see, um, not just around Palawan, but as well as um, in other environments in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. The inspiration is really from a French tradition mm -hmm. as well uh, in terms of the style of making the jewelry. So we have designers both from France and the Philippines. Amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, so basically here in front you have um, the Zen collection, the new masterpiece mm -hmm. for the Zen collection. That's, right here. That's gorgeous. You have the Tropics collection, which is I really like beautiful. One. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Better. You like that one? Yeah. I like that one. You're a beauty queen, so that would look good on you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, uh, L'été en Ville, which was actually this inspired by uh, yeah. a summer day in the city, actually say seeing that again? the palm What's trees. L'été en Ville. Oh, you say it so <laughs> nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I try my best. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're authentic, so you know I just try hard. So yeah. these pearls, they come from Palawan. These are Palawan pearls. Correct. So mm -hmm. these pearls are actually unique to the Philippines. It, they come from the Pintada Maxima oyster, and the natural golden hue you see is actually. Um, only found in the Philippines. Wow. And it's actually the rarest colored South Sea Pearl that, in the world and the most revered one. I never wow. knew that. I, I actually have never seen in, in real life like this kind of hue on a pearl before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were talking about the symbiosis of, of man right. and nature, and I know you guys are, you know, making sure to help protect as well the the resources that we have there in Palawan. Correct. correct? Well, actually, um, the whole process of producing pearls, we're not actually ourselves producing mm -hmm. pearls. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're taking care of the environment taking care of the local communities around, mm -hmm. and of course the people that are taking care of the oysters. Mm -hmm. Perhaps if we do all those things well, then the reward would be a perfect pearl. Although we rarely do achieve perfection <laughs> as it is from nature, um, we are really uh, thrilled whenever we see these beautiful pearls come out. Right. So how is this company uh, visible in the international market? Well, actually, um, through the years, Jewelmer has uh, evolved, um, and now the brand is present uh, in South America, in the U.S., in China. We just launched two weeks ago in Japan, actually. Oh, congratulations. Um, so it's really uh, about putting the best of what the Philippines mm -hmm. has to offer on an international stage at par with, um, well, the top jewelry brands in the world. Mm -hmm. You... Um I just wanted to go back to what you're doing because I think it's so important that as we take from nature and as well, you know, like profit from it, uh, that we give back. And I hear that in 2006, you guys found, uh, put up a foundation, correct? Yes. Well, actually, it, um, the whole community and taking care of nature has been intrinsic with our um, business model since the beginning. But we just founded Save Palawan Seas Foundation right in 2006. And this foundation is really serves 
to train the local communities how to work in harmony mm -hmm. with nature um, and providing different ways of alternative livelihood mm -hmm. such as organic farming, bee farming, seaweed wow, farming. Yeah. Um, so many very different, encompassing. That's right. Very m different types of lifestyle. Safe Palawan Seas Foundation also protects the marine concessions um, against uh, illegal fishing methods, mm -hmm. as well as um, other destructive um, uses of the environment. Yeah. Right. Well, business with a cost. Yeah, exactly. That's right. And that's the kind that makes you know you really have that staying yeah. power. Well, that's that's really the magic of the pearl is because you can't have one without the other. You know, we always say mm -hmm. the pearl is the indicator of the health of the environment. That's true. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a really great point yeah. <laughs> to say this morning. I learned something new today, did you? I'm going to wear pearls later. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, you, you should be wearing pearls soon. We because, should. You know. He said that. So, you know, feel free to, I don't know, came contribute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you came to the right show. I okay, think so. What, what can we expect from Jewelmer in the coming, you know, seasons or collections? Well, we're hoping to definitely um, bring Jewelmer more to different places in the world. Um, as part of our 35 year anniversary, uh, next year we'll actually be doing a special promotion for our special clients mm -hmm. where um, they will have a chance to win a trip for two to Paris. Wow, in a five -star the city of love. Hotel. <laughs> yeah, that's right, staying in a five star hotel and having dinner in a Michelin star restaurant oh, wow. and winning a strand. So that's really uh, the first time we're ever doing that. Hmm. And um, How to win mm. this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like wanting it. Well, you better start buying your pearls then. <laughs> okay, I better start working overtime. Yeah, every night. Me too. Well, it has been such a fantastic way to end the show and you know with the uh, the beautiful jewelry of course in front of us and having you guys on the show thank you so much for sharing this thank with you. us yeah. this morning it, it's really been a great honor and i'm although i'm here alone i'm repre representing a thousand strong uh, jewelmer family so um thank you very much very well said we hope to see you again on the show soon definitely i hope thank so you. too thank you thank you jack that was jack christophe Radelec, deputy chief executive officer of jewelry luxury brand jewelmer